Welcome back to Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug, and it's time for another exciting chemical demonstration. Today, we're going to be building a chromatography column, and the purpose of this is to separate a mixture. And the mixture that we're going to separate is some grape Kool-Aid. We're going to separate that into its different uh, dyes. Well, in order to do this, we're going to start with just a, a small glass pipette. And so I'm going to start by packing this chromatography column. And so the first thing I want to do is put a very small piece of cotton in the very bottom of that pipette. And so I have a very small piece of cotton, almost, uh, almost too small to see here uh, on the camera. I'm going to wad this up into a little uh, ball and just drop it into the top and it will fall down to the bottom of the pipette. That's going to act as a little secondary filtration system. Now the next thing I want to do is add some, some sand here. I have a little funnel that was made from a plastic uh, eyedropper. So I'm going to put a little bit of sand in there in the top. And that sand is going to act as a, as a filtration system also. The next thing I want to do is add some silica gel. Now silica gel is pretty easy to find. You can buy it at an arts and crafts store. It's sold sometimes as uh, flower drying crystals. It's relatively inexpensive. I'm going to fill uh, the bulk of the column with the silica gel. And to top it all off, I'm going to add a little bit of sand to the top of the column. And I'm going to use this to separate the dyes out of grape Kool-Aid. The first thing that you want to do though, before you actually start the separation, is to put some distilled water into the top of the column to moisten the column. So we're going to use this pipette bulb to help things along here. Basically pushing the water through the column to moisten it. And I know that the chromatography column is ready to use when I see a couple drops of water uh, popping out the end of the column. And I see some water here, so that means that the column is ready to use. I'm going to add the solution. Here I have the grape Kool-Aid. I just mix this by adding some, uh, some grape Kool-Aid crystals to some distilled water. I did not add any sugar. And I'm going to add that to the top. Hopefully, you'll start to see a, a fairly significant separation. Can you see some colors separating out already? Here toward the bottom of the column, it seems like the red dye is separating out more quickly, and then the blue dye is up here. To continue the separation, I'm going to add some more distilled water to the top of the column. And I'm going to continue to push that through with the pipette bulb. And as you can see at the bottom of the column, we start to see the red dye falling through into the beaker. Now you don't want the, the top of the column to dry out, so I'm going to continue adding distilled water to the top of the column. And at this time, it looks like all of the red dye has fallen through. So here we have the red. I'm going to start separating out the blue dye, or isolating the blue dye, rather.
And so even though there's still some blue dye in the column, we can safely say that we have separated the red from the blue dyes in the solution of, uh, of grape Kool-Aid. Well, I hope you've learned something and hope you've enjoyed this chemical demonstration. If you liked it, then please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again in the Chemistry Laboratory.